Hi guys, welcome back to another video. Welcome back to Eat with Deidre. Okay, today I'm doing a potato recipe and um, I have already shredded my potatoes. I shredded about four potatoes. There they are. Yep, okay, so I, I shredded about four potatoes. And over here on my chopping board, I have got some cilantro, white onion, and a little bit of garlic right over there, okay? And I'm gonna saute my onions first. So for this video, you would saute your onions first, okay? And um, we're gonna be using an egg also in this. So I'm gonna go ahead and saute my onions and my garlic first before we put it into our potatoes. I'm just gonna saute that up and they need to be dry. So when you do your potatoes, I've shredded four potatoes and I have washed them off about two or three or four times, quite a couple of times, and you'll see brown stuff come off of it, okay? And um, then you just go ahead and rinse those off and let them, pat them to squeeze it until all the juice um, the water comes out of it because the potatoes will um, have water that will come out of them. And you want them as dry as possible for this dish. See how they're kind of like, so the shredded potatoes, and there's no, no um, water in there at all. So they've been sitting about probably, I'd say six or seven minutes. And I'm gonna go ahead and saute up, excuse me, my my onions here and my garlic together and I'm going to be incorporating that in there with um, an egg of course to bind it okay and I might use a little bit of flour you don't have to use flour if you don't want to um, but I think I might it just depends sometimes sometimes you can use it with or without so I'll just when I get to that point however I feel, but I'm letting you know that if you want to incorporate flour, flour or cornstarch, then that works too. Okay, so we're just gonna saute up these onions. How are you guys doing today? How are you doing? Hi to my viewers and hi to, to my subscribers, guys. I'm trying to come up with a different video for you guys. I'm gonna be making corn on the cob for dinner and um, these gar garlic uh, mashed potatoes, butter, mas butter and herb mashed potatoes, excuse me. And I still do have my hamburger helper. I was gonna do that today, but I decided to do this video and I'm gonna have some other patties. I'm doing something a little different, but I might not be taping that. So I wanted to do a good video for you all. Okay, so we're sauteing up these onions. And I'm gonna go ahead and hit it with a little bit of seasoning today. Got my water cup here. Oh, okay. So we're gonna go ahead and put a little bit of pepper on this. Because we're gonna be incorporating that in with our potatoes, okay? That's the whole plan. I'm gonna put a little bit of, um, crushed red peppers in there not a lot just a little bit just a little bit and my good old obe okay and this is what the obe looks like okay so we're just gonna go ahead and do that all right saute up these onions here so we just want them soft so we can go ahead, so you don't want to put raw onions in your potatoes. Well, that's not how, the video that I saw on YouTube, that's not how he did it. He sauteed them up. And mine are diced. He had his long, you can, cu you can cut them long. You can do them however you want to do them, really. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and take that off the heat. Because you don't want your garlic to burn. You don't want your garlic to burn. Okay, and I'm not going to use all of this. I'm going to use a portion of it today. Okay, so what I'm going to do, since they're nice and soft, is I'm going to take a couple of teaspoons and I'm going to mix with my potatoes. 
okay so you just kind of saute them up soften your onions up and you have a little bit of your garlic I use two cubes of garlic and can you see can you see excuse me if you can't see now I'll turn you a little bit so you can see okay so that is what I'm gonna do for that for now Okay, so we're just gonna leave that there and I'm gonna mix this up. Okay, so what we're gonna do, we're just gonna mix our onions up right now in with our potatoes. And I'm holding it because everybody knows that my subscribers that I have a really tiny kitchen. So I don't have a lot of space, but I do the best I can for you guys. Okay, so that looks good. I'm gonna go ahead and keep adding. Go ahead and keep because I have a lot of potatoes today. Okay. All right. And I'm going to go ahead now and add with my cilantro. You can see this. Okay. Go ahead and add that in as I go because I can go ahead and cook with it. But I made it separate. That's just the way I, you can put it in there if you want to saute it all up together. That works as well. Okay. Put that back on the heat. Now I'm going to get my eggs out. Okay, and I'm going to use, we're going to start with two eggs. We're going to see what that does. I've never used this many, um, this many uh, potatoes before, so as you know on my channel, I learn things as I go with this YouTube journey of mine, guys, so it's really exciting, really exciting. So I did two eggs, okay, and we're just going to combine this all together now. That's the process. And I'm going to show you what these patties look like. You guys, they taste so, so good. With garlic, I used a white onion, a half of white onion, okay? And um, I diced two small garlic cubes with this. And I had four potatoes. Okay, so as you can see, I'm just going to mix this all up with those two eggs, and I think two is enough. You don't want it eggy, of course. Okay, how are you guys doing today? How are you guys doing? Hi to my live viewers over here. Hi. <laughs> yeah, I'm doing a potato recipe. I get my, um, this lady, she's from Germany, and she does these um, pota different potato recipe. You can put a little sl slice of ham in here if you'd like and I had some ham but I put it up because I think I'm just going to start slow with slow with it so people don't get too confused so what you have to do is when you get a shredder you shred your potatoes of course I turn my eye on so I can drop them in my you use you can use oil and I'm going to use a little bit of more oil that I have in here and um, you can use butter I'm not going to use the butter today because I have so many, I have so many, so much potatoes to do, you know, so, and I don't want, you don't want your butter to burn, but it's a quick and easy video. It's just, you need to prep a little bit and you can always do, if you don't want to shred them, shred them's kind of fun, you know, um, you'll see when I finish this, what it looks like. Okay. So now I have mixing everything up. I want to go ahead and put a little bit more seasoning in this. And you want to make sure that all of your potatoes get covered with the egg. Okay? So you're just mix, mix, mix. Okay, so that's probably good enough. Okay. All right. So I used two eggs for that. So now I'm going to go ahead and put my good old seasoning in there. Okay, so I can show you this. I'm a pepper fan, so I'm going to go ahead and put my pepper in. 
And like I said, I used a white onion, my obe. You can use whatever seasoning you like, whatever you have Italian seasoning, um, you know. And I, I love my crushed red peppers. I'm gonna go ahead and put some of that in. Uh, what else? Um, have garlic, so we don't need that. I'm gonna go ahead and put some paprika in there. Not quite ready for my oil, it's getting hot. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and put my paprika in. Can you see that? Okay. All right, not too much. And what else do I wanna put in here? That, that's about it today. Okay. Now, like I said, you don't have to put the paprika, you don't have to put the chili flakes, flakes excuse me, anything like that in there. You don't have to do that, of course. Okay, Let's see how much I have, I have quite a bit. Okay, so all that's mixed up. So now I'm going to go ahead and make my patties here. Okay, so here's one patty. You can take a spoon because they, the potatoes kind of stick to your hands actually. So, and you just put, put them in there. And I turned my eye off because I didn't want my. I have little cubes, little pieces of garlic in there, but that's okay. Okay, you just put them in there just like that. Simple as that, yep, yeah, really easy. And like I said, you can use flour. I'm going to go ahead and incorporate a little flour on this one so you can see the difference. I'm going to go ahead and do one more, but that egg binds it. That egg sure does bind it. Okay, so I'm going to just pat it down a tad. Okay, so I'm going to put that one right over here. So I've got to be able to flip these guys. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and just show you I can get my flour out guys what it what the other batch will look like hold on we don't want let me see what's going on here now I haven't done this in a while so okay so we're just gonna make sure it all stays together okay so I'm just doing this you don't have to do that I'm just gonna push them up together a little bit okay so I'm going to get some flour, not a lot, just sprinkle a little bit of flour. And you want to sift your flour, of course. Uh, I sift it with my fingers. You can sit, you know, just so you don't have lumps in your flour. Okay, so I did about three or four teaspoons. So now I'm going to mix my flour up with this too and combine this. Okay. Okay, and you see the juices, they're kind of getting, well, the potatoes will um, um, have water that comes out of them. So that's something that the potatoes do naturally. Okay, okay, so let me rinse my hands off. I need to flip these guys. use one more egg guys because I'm not I've got a lot of last time I didn't have nearly as much potatoes I did not have nearly as much so like I said we have to see how it goes I'm gonna go ahead and crack one more egg to help find this yes most definitely and a little bit more flour this is a really fun recipe it really 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 is if you have big, large potatoes like I have had, 
then, and you can throw a little cornstarch in there if you want to. Okay, so I'm just combining the flour. Okay, and that, that egg. Okay, there we go. Okay, so I'm gonna just whisk, whisk, mix, mix, mix up here. Okay. All right. And it tastes so good. The garlic smells really nice. And that cilantro smells so good. Okay. All right. And I have it cooking kind of slow today. Okay, and I'm gonna, when these finish cooking, I'm gonna do another batch, of course. I've got several batches to do. Okay, I've gotta get my, hand, my hands ready, so I'm right-handed. So I'm gonna flip this guy, and it came apart, wonderful. Okay, but you can just kind of put it together Another thing that if you want to use, you can use cornstarch. That kind of helps it bind it together. And of course that cornstarch will make it nice and crunchy, guys. Nice and crunchy. I'm just trying to clean up my pan here since I have an audience today. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna put that in the middle. Yeah, so you just let them cook on up. Okay, yeah. So these are nice garlic potatoes. There we go. Gotta let them sit for a few minutes. Yep. Okay. Oh man, these taste so good. Okay, let me get my dish out. How are you guys doing today? How are you guys doing? Hope you guys are doing good. Hope you guys are doing well out there. Nice garlic potatoes with a white onion. And that white onion smells so nice. Okay. And I'm just flipping that again. Okay. Okay. As you see, they're kind of coming apart, but you know what? Potatoes will do that, and when that happens, you just go ahead and put that cornstarch, if you have cornstarch, or a little bit more flour into your batter, okay? But I promise this is really tasty. Okay, so we're just gonna let that cook. You need to get a bigger spatula here. Okay. All right, so there looks like a couple of them are ready to come out. So I've got a bigger spatula, so that will be much helpful too. All right. I'm gonna go ahead and put that one in there and I'll show you as we go. I'm going to start over with these guys, but that's okay. These look good. I'm going to go ahead and make them 
do this now. I'm going live, so I'm not going to stop. <laughs> okay, I'm going to go ahead and change up pants. Change up pants. garlic that I had in the pan it's doing too much for me so I'm going to go ahead and wash my hands because I sauteed them as we remember I sauteed them which normally um, last time I did not use garlic I, and I had cornstarch which I don't have my cornstarch today guys so forgive me forgive me but they still don't look bad they still don't look bad to me. And they're so tasty, so. All right. And this is the second time I've done it. I'm not a pro, like I said. So that's what they turned out, little patties. And you can put ketchup or whatever your heart desires in them. I mean, excuse me, on the side. All right, so this is a process, as you see. We're gonna go ahead and add the, our oil. Okay. And as you see, it's making those waves. So our pan is nice and hot. Okay. All right. And so much oil comes up, water comes out of them. And I'll show you guys in a hot minute what I mean. Woo. Like there's juice, there's water in the bottom of this. So you definitely, you know, I've been doing this a couple of times, so I kind of expect it. But you definitely want to have a little bit of cornstarch. I would, if I was you, just put a, like a teaspoon of cornstarch in there, would be sufficient. Now I'm gonna go ahead and add a little bit more at the top because I'm trying to get this done. <laughs> okay. Add a little bit more at the top of there too. Okay. And you can open that up and drop an egg in the middle of there if you'd like. I'm not today, but you can do that. Now I'm just patting them down. Okay, you don't have to do that. You can leave them up, you know, like just so they look all fresh, but I'm patting them down so the heat will get all through through it. That's, what I'm, that's the whole purpose. But a lot of people do it different ways. I've seen them done different ways. So what I'm showing, what I'm gonna show you is the, the water. You can see the water, see how it, it looks, kind of, see that water? A little bit of water there, if you can see. But anyway, so it's just, if you try this recipe, I swear to you, it is a very good recipe. And it looks so pretty, look at there, all the uh, cilantro and everything I put in there. It's really tasty, guys. Especially when you put your own seasoning in there, whatever you like to put, you know? smells so good. Okay. Um, I wanted to do something different, but I think I better keep it real simple. <laughs> so how are you guys doing today? How are you doing today? Good old Friday, guys. Good old Friday. Okay, so we're going to let our potatoes... Woo! Oh my goodness. Wow. 
Okay. And be careful, whatever you do. Okay, I'm going to flip this guy. It's not quite there yet. But I wanted to make sure, you know, you never know. I have a funky eye here. So I'm going to let that sit. Flip that guy. Okay, so yeah, they're just little patties. I'm going to taste one just so I can see what it's doing here. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Oh, okay. Oh, good. Mmm. That's good. Very good. So yes, I would recommend this this dish. Most definitely. A nice, quick, and easy potato dish. You just gotta prep a little bit. Just gotta prep a tiny bit. Okay, and I have my eye on seven. Which I could turn it up a little bit. I'll turn it tiny up. Just, I don't want my stuff to burn, of course. Okay, yes, yeah, so this is a great recipe, guys. A delicious recipe. I just tasted that, and it tastes so good. Let me get a fork show you. This one right here. So I taste this here. It tastes really good. Okay. Mm-hmm. With the onions and the garlic. Mm, it tastes really good. Mm-hmm. Give this a flip. Okay. Now I'm going to turn my water on for my corner on the cob that I've got to do tonight. Okay, yeah. So this is, that turned nice and crispy. I like it like that. Nice and crispy. So how are you guys doing out there? How are y'all doing? Hope you guys are doing doing well and being blessed out there and staying safe. So once again, I shredded four potatoes, large potato guys. And I diced up a half of a white onion and two little small garlic cubes and three eggs. And I put flour in because I just was seeing what the batter was doing. Like sometimes you gotta just play it by ear. But I would always put a little flour in. Oops, I just spent that one. And a little, a teaspoon of cornstarch. I did not have cornstarch today. Okay, so there's this one. Put it right there. And this is done. Not quite there, not quite there. Okay. So now I'm going to go ahead and, so now you can see the juice that I'm talking about. That the potatoes, they automatically make that juice. Okay, so we're just going to put it right there. I'm making mine patties, making mine just like patties today, because I have so much. Okay. And I'm going to put a little bit more oil. Sometimes that happens. You know, potatoes like to suck up a little of that oil. And I'm putting using, I'm not gonna lie to you guys, this is what I'm using. This is really good. It's very heart healthy as well for you. Okay. Let's check on these potatoes. Not quite there yet, not quite there. Okay. Okay, so we like them nice and crunchy in our house. And in, when you make the batter up, if you just want to have hash browns, 
This is a, another good way to do hash browns. You know, just make your batter up and put them in there and scramble it up. You could put ham in there. You could do a lot of different things. So this is just the way that I do as far as with the patties go. You don't have to do the patties, of course. But that this batter can go either way. Either way, guys. Either way. Yes, yeah, so I like to talk about where my viewers are from. Where, where are you guys seeing this video from? And if you know my channel, I'm from Raleigh, North Carolina. Yep, Raleigh, North Carolina. And it's getting hot out here. It's getting hot finally out here. I'm ready for summer, I must say. Because I'm ready for the fall. Okay, and that one's done. So we're going to do the next batch. We're just going to shred them. I'm gonna just leave them like that and cook them like that and see what it does. I've never done it before, but we're gonna do it live today. Or should I keep going doing my patties? Maybe I can, should just finish doing my patties. Oh well, I'm gonna do my patties because that's what I wanted to do. But the next time I do it, I'm gonna have, I'm gonna do it a little different. Okay, so this guy is done. Okay, just a little bit more oil. Okay. So we're gonna drop them in here. Doing a big one. That's a big guy, you guys. That's a big guy right there. Okay, and here's another big guy. Okay. I'm gonna put my last one here. Brand for now, I might have to do two with this one. All right, right there. And I'm patting them down so they cook through. Okay. Let's take this one out. Come here, guys. All right. There we are. So we're going to do this last one. It'll be a little one. I'm going to put that right there right here in the corner. Hi to my live viewers. Hi, guys. I shredded some potatoes today, guys. Yep. Trying to do something different. The lady that does this, um, this uh, recipe, she's from Germany. And I love, love, love her videos, guys. So I was just looked at a video before I went live. This did. Trying to get some of the seasoning on top. Okay, so that's enough of that. I'll tell you what I use in just a hot second here. But those potatoes look good. I use four large potatoes. Because I've got two boys and myself. And I didn't want to have just, you know, two of them a piece. I wanted to have enough. Okay. So now we're just going to let these guys cook on up. And the uh, one key that I really noticed that cornstarch will bind it and make it real crunchy. That's what the cornstarch does. I have done it without it. You just make sure you have enough egg in there to combine it. There we go. I just put some juice on top, so. This guy might not be ready to flip so soon, but we're gonna see. Okay. There we go. That's the egg that I just mixed up, but I wanted to use that batter. Let's see here. Go ahead and get that out of the pan. Okay. All right. So this is a nice fun dish. And I'm going to put some toppings on here for you guys so you can see. But let me show you what they look like. That's what it's looking like. Yeah, it's just nice patties. 
nice, nice patties. That's all there is. Nice and simple and tasty. Very, very tasty, guys. So, getting back to what I, I used four potatoes and I shredded them. And then once you shred all your potatoes, you get, um, uh, um, well, I use this container here, guys. And I just wished them around. And then you get your, you get your, whatever you have to use here. And you, you make sure all that water, because the potatoes will have water in them. Okay, yeah, these are almost done. I'm gonna get my topping out. And you just make sure all that, well, all that water gets out of there. You can squeeze them with the rag if you like. Then once you do that, you can get cut up your onions. You don't have to use onions. You can always use just plain potatoes too. I have done this before and I've seen several videos. Some people cut up slices of ham, little bits of ham. Um, I used um, white, so stretch your potatoes. You can use uh, a white onion. You can use, I use cilantro also in there, okay? And your own seasoning, whatever, whatever seasons you prefer. So that's what I use. I'm just telling you what the different videos I have seen them, they put a little bit of ham in there. And that seems really good to me. A little bit of ham, that seems tasty. And I had my ham out <laughs> and I was gonna chop it up, but then I said it might, it might, I haven't never used it before. So I said it might do something, I'm not sure. So I wanted to keep it nice and simple. Okay, so today, I'm going to be using just plain old ketchup on ours and some barbecue sauce that we have. Whatever you have around the house is fine. You know, whatever you want to dip in your potato, you just go for whatever your heart desires. Okay, so these guys are ready to come on out. I'm going to flip it again. Okay, and I like mine. We like ours crunchy, crunchy potatoes. Come on out. Okay. Oh, it's hot, 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 hot. Okay. Ready. Oh, excuse me. Damn it. <laughs> oh, my goodness. The pain I'm going through for you guys on YouTube, my YouTube family. <laughs> no, I'm joking. I am joking. I love you guys. I love, love, love you all. Let me give my heart. <laughs> All right, guys. So, yes, that's it. We're going to cut that joker off. Cut this off. I have my oven on because I'm going to put these in the oven just so they'll stay hot. With this hot oil, believe me, they're done. They don't need to go in the oven. They can go right into your belly. Okay? So, yeah. My crispy, nice potatoes. I'm going to leave that there for just a hot second. I'll probably keep going with this video. I might as well. I've got to straight up some... Um... Okay, let's just get these guys out here. Okay. Those done. All right, nice and finished with these potatoes. Thank goodness. Okay, so I'm done with that. Okay. Use the noise. Use the noise. But I am cooking my dinner for my family. So, okay, we're going to switch this. Turn that off and use the same hot eye that I've got going here. So, this is what is going on with these nice potatoes. See, nice and golden brown to me. They're so pretty. All right, guys, so that's what they look like. Yes, yeah, so I'm pleased about that. So next, I've got my corn. Okay, good old corn. I've got some fresh corn today. You're welcome to hang out with me. I've got to shuck these. If you know anything about shucking corn, <laughs> I've got four more to shuck because I got three people. We're going to have two corns each. So I have got to shuck my corn. 
Uh, leave me some comments, guys. Where are you guys from? I can do it over here, though. I'm going to bring this closer, okay? Because i got to shuck some corn. All right. And that, to me, when you use when you use fresh corn, I think, and this is white corn. I didn't know it was white. Let me show you here. Look at here. Nice white corn. Yeah. Okay, the white is good. White, uh, the white is really tasty to me. So I'm gonna just shuck this, and look how easy that's coming off. That's coming off easy, thank goodness. Okay, now just pop it off. And then you just take your hand and you go down and get those little pieces that come out here. Let me come over here so you can see. Okay. And I'm gonna drop that right into that boiling water. There's Uno. And you just, if you, anybody doesn't know how to shut corn, you take it and you take it apart and just, just go just like that. Yep, that's all you do. And there's your corn. And you take your fingers and just go around and it just comes on out. Yep, it's nice and simple. And then you just pop it like that and there you go. Here's your corn. And here's all that other stuff. I don't know what that stuff is called. Like I said, I'm not a pro on here. I just been cooking for all my life. <laughs> and uh, that's what I see my mom do. And then you take your hand and all those little stringy things and you go the opposite direction. And they usually fly on off. Okay. You just plop that in your water. I've got four more to do. Okay, so I've got four more to shock here. How are y'all doing? How are y'all doing on a Friday afternoon? Right? Friday. Good old Friday. I like Fridays. Oh, who doesn't, right? <laughs> I do work tomorrow, but I was off for the past few days trying to take some PAL time, some paid leave time. Because if we don't take it by October 1st, it goes away. So I want to talk about my trip that I'm planning to Vegas, guys. Oh, hold on. I want to shut this corner, as you see here. You got to pull it all the way down to the end, which I did not do. Here we go. And then just pull it, and then it just snaps off. That's it. Yeah, that is it. So I'm planning a trip to Vegas. Um, excuse my chihuahua, guys. Let's pop and try to get these in here. And, um, Lily, what's the matter? <laughs> Is it hot in here, guys? I know I'm a little hot. Okay, so I'm just trying to shut this corn, pull it apart. <sighs> yep. So you just pop that, pop that off. This one has a lot of stuff on it. Christian, get Lily, please. Okay. I love my boys. Two, two, two each. So that's six. Two for six. I'm shucking here. Okay, pull it down here. Okay, oh, these are smaller ones. Okay, hopefully just pop off, there we go. Seeing all this stuff, you just take your hand and go straight down and it'll come right off. A lot of people like to buy their corn hole. I mean, you know, like frozen hole in the, in the frozen to section. That's normally what I do. This is a treat for us to have it. And just go ahead and go for it, you know? 
Okay, so I'm gonna drop that in there. Whew, last but not least, I don't think I have a lot of room left. My pan. <laughs> so yeah, um, planning a trip to Vegas in the end of July. And you know you guys gotta come, right? Leave me any comments. Anybody been to Vegas? Type Vegas. If any of you guys have been to Vegas. Anybody been to Vegas out there? Type Vegas in my comments. And let me know. I've been to Vegas once before this. And honestly, it was about 15 years ago, guys. They had a lot of everything was mostly, um, what do they call it? Um, buffets stuff like that it was you could you know it was inexpensive you could go the expensive route but when I have looked up so many videos the past two weeks I don't think they do the well from what I what they say they don't do that anymore okay and I've got to take some water out of here there we go all right so there's my corn Ooh. Okay. Let me go ahead and back over here. Okay, Lily, I know. My dog, she doesn't. You know, chihuahuas are very, they let you know what's on their mind. Oh, my goodness. What happened? My video is still going. That is amazing. My video is still going. Something fell. Oh, okay. Now, what was I saying? I've got a mess here, you guys. A little bit of a mess, but I'm going to try to get these this corn on the cob going here. Okay, so delicious corn on the cob. There we go. Okay. So, we're just going to let that boil. Corn on the cob doesn't take too long. Okay. But I will leave it off for y'all. This is all good to me. And I'm going to have this tonight. Quick and easy. Let me get my... Get some tin foil. I'm going to show you what else I'm having tonight. potatoes in the oven. Okay. Now, I'm having this. You got, this is quick and easy and expensive. This right here, guys, was $4.99. Three or $4.99. And it's really banquet. Family size. If you want something that you don't have a lot of money, and I did have money, but I was trying to get one meal so I could show you guys a quick and easy, inexpensive meal. This is the way to go. Um, I have my own um, gravy that I add on top of this. And I have, like I mentioned to you, uh, my um, butter herb mashed potatoes okay so that's what we're having in this delicious corn on the cob and my potato bites on the side yep and you go ahead and poke a couple of holes excuse my knife but i'm just going to do it nice and simple do them just like that okay and put it in your pan and that's it. We went out to eat two times yesterday. So I decided I wanted to go ahead and do something quick and easy tonight. Because like I said, I have to work in the morning. Okay. Wash your hands. Wash your hands. Right. Yeah, so... Getting back to Vegas, Vegas is going to be something that I've been wanting to do with my son for 15 years, and we're finally getting an opportunity to get out of Dodge all through the pandemic, take a water break here, but 
Oh. Oh, goodness. You know, we were home for two years. I can't believe I did that. Whew, because I like to go outside myself. Oh. If I can make it through that, I think I could, well, we won't say that, but excuse me, guys. I feel like I can go through almost, I mean, whatever they want to, what else they, uh, hopefully they don't bring nothing else to us, right? Right? <laughs> They, they were saying there would be another one, but like I said, wow, I hope not. I really hope not, because I don't know. We got real lucky. I didn't, you know, I I, I ended up catching, um, just on a quick note, I ended up catching diabetes because of this, for the pandemic. That's why I don't use salt on my dishes. I have a lot of other spices that I use. People probably wonder, why did she use so many different spices? I do that because I like spicy stuff. So I can't use the salt. I used to love, you guys, I used to love salt. Just thinking about that, wow. Mm. My doctor said, no more. Cut it out, completely out. Did you wanna get out of this bed and go home? You can't have any more salt. And then they, you know, like I couldn't have, I love watermelon that had sugar in it all this stuff so but now i'm off the the insulin shots and i take metformin keeping it real with y'all so now i'm gonna go ahead and start my i'm gonna wait on my mashed potatoes because my my patties have got to cook in the oven so that's why i made those patties for you guys and shared it we're gonna nibble on that why love the um patties take like 45 minutes with this corn so yeah so just a little quick run view yeah that happened to me i'm doing a lot better i'm still taking my metformin being a good girl my doctor did say sometime it's good to have a little bit of sugar if you feel you're getting a little not weak but i guess weak it's all new to me but i wasn't going up there to that hospital i know that so she said you were you were close she said yeah she says was not a good thing for me so i'm doing a lot better that's been two over two years and I'm doing a lot, lot better. And I manage it. I'm not perfect with the sugar or the the carbs, but I'm still here. <laughs> and all this smoke, you can't see. But yeah, so here's the corn. And you guys, I'm going to let you go. And thank you, thank you, thank you so much for tuning in to Eat with Deidre. I appreciate you and I appreciate to my live viewers and I appreciate my what? Subscribers. Thank you guys. I get so emotional with this, but I truly mean it. I'm trying to get to 2,000, trying to, and then we'll just, I guess I'll try to go for three and just keep on going. But your encouragement means so much to me. Um, I appreciate you guys coming on my live all as well. Don't be shy. <laughs> all right, guys. Well, I appreciate you tuning in to Eat with Deidre until the next video. What I like to say, I'll see you when I see you. Right, guys? Peace. Stay safe out there. Bye-bye.